everyone, welcome back to Card Voyant. I'm Chris and I'm your Card Voyant and I'm coming to you today again from the road where I'm on my journey to explore Earth energy. It's kind of an exploration of what Earth energy is, what it means, and how we can use it. So as you know, I began my journey in San Jose, California, and when I was trying to figure out where to go, I had so many options. I mean, I could just go straight east, I could kind of go north, I could go south. Um, I am on my way right now to spend a couple months with my daughter in Alabama, so I'm going that southern route. But it also, I also chose this because of a question that was answered for me in meditation when I was asking my guides, where do I go? <laughs> you know that I want to do this. How should I do it? Where do I begin? How do I begin? And as I was in meditation, I received the phrase, and this is often how things come to me, as phrases accompanied with um, imagery, sometimes just one word that will sort of repeat itself over and over, but this was a phrase. And the phrase was, where the sea meets the shore. So I knew that I wanted to travel along the coastline. I did think about sort of the Pacific Northwest, but knowing, uh, or later knowing that I was going to head to Alabama for a little while, I decided to go down the coast of California. And I felt like either way was fine because eventually I will make my way to um, the Pacific Northwest and come back to the Bay Area again. So um, why where the sea meets the shore? Well, it came to me uh, in meditation a couple days spent at the beach. I was able to um, spend a couple days in Ventura, a couple days in the San Diego area, and traveling all along the coastline. Now, as many of you know, my Jacob's Guides are um, who are helping me along this journey and have helped me many times in just understanding things that they feel is important for us to understand. You can find that um, on my website, I have Word documents of some of the Jacob's readings I've done. They're also on this YouTube channel if you want to go back and, and watch them. My website is also where you can book a reading if you'd like to. I'm doing readings as I travel. So, um, you know, there's so many things in life and I've come to find out that life is often about understanding symbolism. I mean, most everything is symbolism. It's also the truth. It's, it's what is in the moment, what is happening in the moment, what exists in the moments, but it's also highly symbolic. Life is simply that way. And it's for us, this, this symbolism to help us understand many things. So it wasn't surprising to me that one of the early messages that I received was about this symbolism. So um, sitting on the beach, I was thinking about how the, the ocean waves, the sound of the breaking waves is so calming and kind of wondering about that and the, the seagulls in the background and, and it's just, it's a place that I love to be. And before I get into the very short part that I'm going to read to you about symbolism, I just wanted to read this one paragraph that I received about that. They said, but you see, sound is a part of earth energy and wherever you go on your earth sound is abundant in many forms many ways and it is a part of and contributes to overall earth energy as you know it and think of it which i thought was interesting because i tend to think of earth energy as sort of rising from the ground and i'm as I go along, I mean, already, I'm finding that that's not the complete truth. Um, it also involves a sound, and you can see uh, all the different ways in which uh, sound would be different in different areas. And I just thought that was very interesting, but it made sense to me. I don't know how many of you have like an app on your phone or on your computer that has different sounds to, to lull you to sleep or help you get into a meditative state. Things like the beach, uh, waves, rain, sometimes wind, all of these things. So um, I thought that was very interesting. There's more to it because there's more that contributes to earth energy, but we'll talk about that as we go along. So the beach itself, um, 
this is just the the first message and kind of I think they gave it to me as like the overall message so that we can understand other things that we talk about when we talk about when the sea meets the shore. It's rather short but I I think it's um, interesting and hopefully you will too. And they said, here is the sea, the grandest of metaphors, the beginning and the end, both and yet neither. Where does the sea go when it recedes from the shore? The shore is left bereft, and yet the sea is not lost. It simply gathers itself, returns home, and then graces the shore once again, renewed. Ever changed and ever changing, yet always constant. As too are you, as too is the universe, the source, the God source, the all that is, of which you are an integral and essential part. As such, your earthly and non-earthly endeavors, in whichever direction, are similarly important and integral to the constant, necessary, and triumphant expansion of the universe the all that is. Now, I talk a lot about um, the expansion of the universe being the purpose of the universe. And I will say that I, I often speak about this in readings um, when people are asking about things happening in their lives. And the thing is that the universe is love. It is made up of love. And therefore, it is balanced in love. And the universe must have balance and always seeks balance and balance and love. And in this part of the reading where it says uh, growth in whatever direction, it's talking about the very real fact that not everybody is always growing in love. Not everything is always growing in love. I mean, we know that from living on earth and yet the universe seeks and must have balance and love. So this is what we're talking about the universe growing and yet uh, there has to be this balancing so this is what we talk about when we talk about karma karma is a balancing and therefore with this balancing we we uh, know that the universe will always grow in love so we have uh, in many little ways and sort of throughout uh, eternity timeless eternity this growth and balance toward love. I mean, I find that very comforting, especially in these ra rather um, turbulent times, and hopefully you will too. And I feel like earth energy, especially here talking about the sea and the shore, is something that can help us find balance that we can use to sort of transmute energy into something that is balanced and loving and grows toward love and light and goodness. So uh, there you have it for now. As I said, I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be traveling inland and very far inland now. Um, and a lot of the sort of topography, a lot of the places that I'm going to be going, I'm pr pretty unfamiliar with the landscape. So it'll be really interesting to me to see the kinds of information as I go along. And I will share that with you. I'll try not to bore you. <laughs> we'll try and do these short videos. Um, but I do appreciate you turning in, tuning in to this channel and learning along with me. Um, so until next time, I will just say again, if you'd like a reading, uh, cardvoyant.com is where you can sign up for one. And until next time, I will just say, Thank you again for watching. I'll just keep saying that. Um, but please take care of yourself. Please take care of others. And bye for now.